I drink your milkshake. You are listening to the Billionaire Podcast Network. Welcome to Corn About Rob Fed. Corn About Every- Rob Fed. Corn About Rob Fed. I have been kicked out of Gas Digital, so <clears throat> it's back to Zoom again. You got kicked out of Gas? Uh, I have a lot of gas. Let me tell you that right now. Now, um, I uh, they raised the prices, and I can't, and I got kind of priced out. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Damn, you can't catch a break. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm like, I'm uh, living I'm living large these days. I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are. You're on the Billionaire Podcast Network. The right? Billionaire Podcast Network. Yeah, it's the future of entertainment. Is yeah. uh, reacting to songs. We were talking about this. How funny the fucking um, just like how many of those? Rea- I mean, I I, I text you. It was a, it's a great concept because I've been obsessed with those fucking black guys just reacting to white thing like not even white mute like not even like white rappers like just like one of them just was like i heard beethoven for the first time oh yeah man, this shit slaps dude. yeah it, it, it all kind of hinges on the concept that uh like anything that's not on like i i don't know like kiss fm or like yeah. w- any anything that's not like biggie or tupac or any sort of like rap music is just white people shit so it's just it's like a white yeah. guy it's like a black it's a black guy who's you know like man i you know i never i never listened to no damn nirvana before right, right. yeah <laughs> i hope yeah, it don't it, suck i mean yeah the, it's basically for yeah it's basically for like white people who are like they've never heard anything but rap and like, yeah if we just expose them to Dude, I hope they do. Is there a polka one? I'm gonna YouTube. There, I hope there's a reaction to polka. Yeah, like a white person or a black person listens to Weird Al for the first time. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, I didn't know you could make fun of music. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just heard Papa Roach for the first time. Check out that reaction video, and now he's parodying it. Fuck, man. Yeah, it's it's always yeah, it always it always comes across as is like something to gawk at. Like they're making yeah. it for white people to to sort of like yeah i mean i don't, I don't know if i should use the me- the metaphor that i texted you <laughs> oh yeah what was that again it's, it's like those it's like those videos of, of when an orangutan sees a baby at the zoo oh, and it's like yeah maybe you shouldn't have said that <laughs> and it's it's like look at him looking at the baby he loves it it's for like older i think i feel like it's like you know what though i got obsessed because i kind of fell for it because I was like, when Kamikaze by Eminem came, I was like, I just YouTube reaction videos. And it was just all black guys being like, damn. Yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. I'm sure well, he reacts to it. Yeah. A lot of them are good. Like, yeah. Like, then that, I like, that's that's the thing is is whether whether it's true or not that this is like a black person's first time listening to Hotel California <laughs> or, or like whatever the song is. They always like really give it give it their all in the reaction yeah oh my god <laughs> neil young old man first time reaction <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god the best one was the fucking richmond north of richmond reaction they got like oh black yeah guys in there to be like damn i wish they was looking out for the miners and not the miners on the island <laughs> <laughs> well, did you did you see that that one that i found where it was like a, a black guy watching gran torino for the first time no that's amazing and, though. Dude, and the the thumbnail is just a it's like the cover of Grand, Grand Torino, and then it's a black guy just wiping tears from his face. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, it rocks. Black and that guy reacts to George Carlin saying slurs in that one bit. 
<laughs> oh yeah, well that that's another big one is like uh one of the most popular of like the comedy ones is black people reacting to Bill Burr. Oh my god. Yeah. But you know what that makes more sense. I do think probably black people do like Bill Burr. They do the like Bill Burr. It's just when it's like for like old it's like the ones that are just old white people commenting. Just like I knew, I knew that it's nice to see young people listening to good music, you know. Yeah, it, you know, it's like black guys right to Joni Mitchell or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's nice. It, it is a, it's a pretty innocent grift, and it's not um, because the the there's like the other one. I was just talking to. I was on that History Homos podcast, and we were talking about how like a good way for black people to just print money is to do like the black Republican. Oh yeah. 100%. That, that's, that's awesome. I love those Have guys. You seen, yeah. Those guys are on Crowder sometimes and Crowder will do like a lot of black voice in front of them. And you can just see the emptiness in their eyes as they like, cause the racism aside being forced to laugh at Steven Crowder is like a face worse. That than, sucks. A fate, yeah. A fate worse than death. Yeah. He he's awful. All those guys are terrible. I feel uh, like not. I feel like everyone's kind of turned on Crowder, because, even like other Republican. You know, he like he really alienated himself. Yeah, when I first heard of him, I thought he was that. I thought I I thought he was that like uh, Christian rock band, but that's a Are different you? thing. No, there's Dude, a there's a. See the, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, there's there, well, there's a Christian rock band called um, like the the, the David Crowder band, uh -huh. and so when Stephen Crowder okay. first hopped on the scene, <laughs> I was like, oh, is this like that Christian rock guy? It's so much worse. <laughs> Do you th is Chris Rock's full name Christian Rock? Yes. Cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Love Jews, so hate Philistines. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hate uh, when someone covets my wife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith slaps Jesus on the cross. Um. Or whatever, Chris. Or uh, Will, did you see the lead singer stained, spelled out Trump twenty four and dead coyotes? That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Aaron that's Lewis. Sick. Yeah, Aaron Lewis. God damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, he. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. That's a that's a really like bold. Uh, that's a bold move. Yeah, yeah, and it's I, I yeah, I, I guess people don't share the same affinity for uh coyotes as they do like dogs Dog. yeah. but it's, it's it, that thing that is like needlessly brutal to just go out and kill right 34 how many coyotes was it it's 24 right? 24 because it's trump 24 yeah i mean i don't know that, that, that doesn't really help trump i don't think like aaron lewis could do anything that, I'm gonna need the lead singer of Stain to go out there and kill some dogs. Yeah, I I think like the lead singer of Stain should stay out of it if he wants Trump to have any uh, chance of winning because that, that, right. that anything he does is gonna make Trump look bad because it's the lead singer of Stain. <laughs> I know. Look, if it was Pod, now we're talking. But Stain, yeah. If it was the lead singer of Pod, yeah, because it's uh, I Stain isn't even together anymore. So it's like Aaron Lewis just goes on these like weird uh, tours through like Tulsa and in Wichita and like all those kinds of towns and does like solo acoustic shows. Oh my god! Who's and going I think to that I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. And I think he plays. It's been a while, like three times in the set or something. <laughs> 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 Stupid like that. <laughs> There was a That's there cool. was a while there was a while when Scott Stapp was just touring solo, mm. like before I guess like Creed's oh, yeah. back together now. But oh, nice! Scott Stapp Good. was just hitting the road solo, right? Stapp, <laughs> just you think that Stapp was like finally I get to do my own thing? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he thought he was gonna have the uh, the Justin Timberlake career. Yeah, he thought it was gonna be like Harrison. All all things must pass. He's like the rest of the band was holding me back. Yeah, it's time for the stat. It's time for Stap to bring the fucking pain. <laughs> Everybody's getting back together. Creed is back together. In Sync yeah. is back together. Hey, um, tell that to my ex. <laughs> All right, let me call her. She's been texting me a lot lately. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. <laughs> she's freak. She's freaking out about this uh, conflict in the Middle East, and really? yeah, and she what, wanted. What, what, 
What's she she, she wanted pictures of my balls to make her feel better. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted you to launch a rocket. You know? mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you, do you know about? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Um, what happened? Uh, the uh, some something's going on over there. There, and... no, that, that's it's usually pretty nice over there. <laughs> they usually get, they've gotten along swimmingly for a while. I'm surprised to hear that they're fighting. Yeah, that's that. <clears throat> that's what that, that that's sort of like the baffling thing about Israel is like, mm-hmm. of all the places post World War II that you could go set up your colony, you, you pick like the one geographic location that, like, especially Jewish people are just gonna fucking hate. You know yeah. what I mean? Like Jewish people don't even like it when they're in like Key West. They're yeah, like, and like Middle Eastern food upsets Mid- your stomach, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so so it's like we're gonna go set up an entire colony in the middle of the fucking desert. Yeah. You know what's so funny is that's like the one foreign policy thing that people did just because they were like, Okay, let's like be like it was like it's like it's the only purely humanitarian thing anyone's ever done. Like the world powers been like, let's give the Jews Israel because they've suffered. And it's just it just backfired so it's like the biggest yeah. conflict of all time. Because it's not well, it's not humanitarian. It's it, it's like a misguided um show of like generosity, I guess. But it's, it's yeah, like exactly. I mean the, the Palestinians were already there. Like the more the more I find out about like what Israel actually is, I'm just getting like mad because mm. it just takes me back to having like a Hasidic landlord and having to deal with that kind of <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just, just yeah. like the, it just, just the, the thought of like all those Palestinians being there, and then a bunch of like weepy guys with allergies and, and fucking tummy aches show up, and they're like, mm-hmm. "You gotta leave. This is this is our homeland. That you know, we this is where we're supposed to be." And I thought of a couple things that could bring everyone together, though. Um, Palestine felt. Palestine felt that would bring everyone together. Palestine felt and okay. uh, John Moskowitz. I think those two things. Are <laughs> uh, the audience will understand one of those things, and then they'll have to look up Palestine Phil. Let we'll them figure that one out. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> like a Black Hawk Down music version. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It cuts yeah. to Jerry's apartment. It's just that music, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like the exterior. Yeah. The fucking beginning of every war movie has that song over, like, sand. Yeah, <laughs> the, like ha- the hazy desert. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's like, hey, la, la, la. <laughs> yeah, then, it rocks. Nolte. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Palestine felt good. Um, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. really, I don't know, man. It just seems like Twitter, I've fallen for so much just bullshit on twitter like so many like so much fake stuff is out there like video like you'll see a video be like oh my god it'll be like from 20 years ago or something it's it's fucking crazy yeah it's the worst thing that's ever happened i mean yeah it's it's like you know i mean it is like that norm bit about how like back in the day the news was like just about a half hour and that's all Mm -hmm. you needed (laughs) yeah honestly yeah and then you made a great point on your show where it's like does anyone get news from the news anymore? That's no, a, that's I, a great point. A lot of the people I talk to are so I don't know what like w- w- the the um they they bought into this idea that any sort of a publication that uh lists itself as like a news source is operating with some sort of like bias or agenda to mm. the to the point where it just completely cannot be trusted. Yeah, that, that, that they're all completely untrustworthy. So you have to like the only the only place you can truly you know uh, trust in, in news now is, is like a Twitter account with, with like a f- anime furry profile. I know, I know. It's like Hassan, dude. I was watching Hassan because he had to like he got he got like a bunch of shit wrong, I guess. And he went on Pierce Morgan and he goes. Look, I he tried to do both. He was like, I'm just a dumb Twitch streamer. I, I saw never, that. Ever, yeah. And then he goes, but I'm better than the news. It's like, well, which one is it? Are you a dumb Twitch streamer or are you better than the news? Yeah. Because he knows that a lot of like kids get their news from him. Yeah. People are getting yeah. their news now from like TikTok and Twitch, Telegram. Yeah, 
it's going nowhere good i miss gatekeepers kind of you know yeah and then and then like i tell people it's like yeah I, you know i've just started going to like al jazeera or bbc and like all these mm-hmm. different sites and they're like yeah like you could trust those you know they just can't they can't wrap their heads around going to an actual news site and i'm like well okay well what, what you're getting on twitter is like a million different people giving like up to the second hot takes that are like completely uninformed and, and unfiltered and go, going through no editorial process yeah, yeah. and i, yeah, I don't know like... i don't know what happened where like people start trusting that more than like the new york times well it's because it's like it's because it's it's breaking they don't want to wait for someone like write an article so they go to twitter and my problem is like i just feel like every single source on twitter especially is super fucking biased so i don't like trust really anything you know like it'll either be like you know like (laughs) fucking uh jaime bankowitz you know it says this about (laughs) this this, this is what's going on and then on the other side it's like (laughs) fucking like Muslim dot Quran says that this is what's going on. Yeah, I know. And it's, I'm just it, like, what the? F- I don't try. None of. I can't find a single like actually objective person. Yeah, we need a Christian mess. white guy in the middle of this to give us the yeah. actual fucking facts. That's why I go to Ian Finance's Twitter to figure out what the fuck is happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most trusted source of news. Ian. I did check it in the middle of like some like big war story, and he was just like get your dick out of your mouth and thank the lord <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean like, the, i love you Ian. the line the line in the, the lines are being drawn it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the dust settles with all yeah the, like the day after the purge yeah i know yeah because it's like i feel like a lot like the hospital is a great example where like that's actually one where the real news fucked up and like said the story and then like three days later it's a totally different story yeah well the, it, the, the like the interesting thing to see with all this is like all these people who for like the last like seven or eight years who, who have like been jockeying for the the position of having like the correct opinion and being on the right side of history uh-huh. are, and now it's like the mask is completely fucking off with everybody mm-hmm. and it, it's like mm-hmm. everybody's unhinged right now for like, real well whatever side they're on and i i, I with this situation I have no clue what the right side of history is. And I think that's a gay way to live your life anyways. Trying yeah. to always try not. Uh, always... Um, actually, uh, you should, um, uh, you sh- it's praxis to have yeah. an opinion. Um... <laughs> yeah. It, uh, yeah. He, well, he's the only good one. Like to be, to be like, honestly, yeah. Jake Flores should be everyone's North star for all of this. <laughs> He's the only North, one. Know. North Star of David. North Star of David. North Star of Larry David. And- <laughs> oh, we got to get this on, on wax. Larry the David guy. Larry the- Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were having a good time with that one the other night. <laughs> yeah. Did I text Pretty- you this yet? Leisure suit Larry the David guy. <laughs> Leisure suit Larry the David guy, yeah. <laughs> Br- Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> did you ever play Leisure Suit Larry? I like. I was like such a horny kid that I think I like. I never. I never got to play it, but I like read a lot about it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the lore of Leisure Suit Larry, trying to beat Magna all- Cum Laude. Leisure yeah, Suit Larry, Magna I Cum that Laude. one. Yeah, yeah. I think I played the original game at one point, and it's it's like it's pretty boring and it's not very fun. It's like a, it's almost like a text adventure game. Like in order to actually fuck, you have to input the right commands. Otherwise you get like arrested on like rape charges or something. <laughs> something like that. You got to re- <laughs> the game over is that you raped. <laughs> the, yeah. The, the game over is you get like 15 years in prison for date rape. Um, nice. yeah. <laughs> uh, Jumpsuit but, uh, Larry. Yeah, jumps or orange is the new black. Yeah, um, great show. Great show. Did you, did you watch that fucking uh, uh, House of Usher show? No. First of all, Usher isn't even in it. That sucks. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, it was like it's one of those ne- like Netflix shows are like they're so similar. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like in in the middle of it, I liked watching and I like I I like binge the whole thing like two days, but it's like completely out of my mind as soon as it's done. It's like so disposable. 
Yeah, that's a, like you know all everybody's having these conversations about like you what what happens when AI starts writing TV and it's like well Netflix has been doing that for like the last decade. It, it's been yeah, having, it's like algorithm shows. Yeah, creating out like, watch. It's basically like Final Destination Succession. So the kills were like fun, like to see the kids get like picked off one by one. I'll check but it, it out. Just like, but it's just like it was the whole time I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. And as soon as it's over, it's just out of my mind. Like none of it stuck with me. Yeah, that's that's like most TV now. Yeah. Maybe that's how TV should be. Like honestly, like right. maybe TV should be forgettable so people go back to the theaters. Yeah, that's that's not a bad point. But yeah, TV got too quote unquote good. Yeah. You know? I think yeah, that's my the, problem. With, pre- with prestige it, it's... television began with The Sopranos, and I think I think the bow that was wrapped around it was Succession, and, and now it's over. Yeah, I agree. Go back to the fucking and, movies. It's funny because it really invites the Succession comparison. Like, they even use, like, sound like soundtrack, and I'm like, this is a, such an unflattering comparison because, like, the dialogue is, like, so bad. And in Succession, it's fucking amazing, you know? Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, so, well, Succession is good. The dialogue is good because they all talk like retards. Yeah. Okay. Like cool. nice. Yeah. They're constantly Fuck like yeah. stumbling over what they're trying to say and yeah, can okay. barely okay. form a sentence a lot of the time. Yeah. Logan's fucking dialogue is fucking killer though. Yeah, Logan's the only like eloquent character on the show. E- everyone else Fuck is off. Yeah. Yeah. E- everyone else was like trying to sound smart and just they all ended up sounding like fucking idiots. Yeah, that's what's I love when Kendall does like business jargon. Like, oh, like yeah. okay, great synergy, great synergy. Okay. We're gonna like huddle together and come together and you know whatever the fuck he says. Yeah, yeah, they're they're all trying to talk like like yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about that world, but it's see that you know the show seems like it's accurate. I guess. I think it is. I mean, I don't know. I think in politics, which is what they were doing basically, they do talk. They all talk like that, right? Like yeah, um, in the arena. Yeah. The arena. The fuck, uh, yeah, they are like they're always yeah they're always like cussing in in politics. I don't like that. They're always cussing and they're always using these like metaphors to make it sound like they're warriors. They're like we're fucking right. gladiators. The gold star warriors. Yeah, fighting a tiger in the Coliseum, mm-hmm. and they're just like d- describing a business deal. Yeah, I know. Well, because they're fucking. It's crazy, and that's how they all act too. They're because they're all like uh, their egos are just out of control. Those people, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, anybody would be in that position, you know. It's it's like you think so. I feel like yes. I'd be able to keep my head a little bit. <clears throat> no, no, I think anybody. I think anybody who gets into a position of like, kind of like undeserved power and influence, mm-hmm. and who's also like extremely wealthy, that that would probably corrupt most people. Right, right. I've noticed this that a lot of people who are assholes like the ones who are like the most gatekeepery like that it's they usually are there they it's because they're not there on merit so all they have is their status and power so they they're the ones who are most dickish about it a lot of the people who get somewhere based on talent are not like that you know right yeah i mean I, yeah who knows i mean it's so hard to succeed because the, the people I mean, i'm that... talking about tony hinchcliffe <laughs> yeah we should both hey, shout out to shout out to peng dang for getting a uh, new york comedy festival fucking whatever the fuck he got oh yeah so funny yeah he's comedy. also isn't he also like passed at the cellar yeah kevin brennan got him in which is very funny nice <laughs> um yeah we should just pivot to doing like red bar stuff i'm having fun doing that yes my... jules look at that who is that peng dang everybody <laughs> how'd he get that name they throw the bedpan down the hallway when he was born uh, oh jules look at this look at this lewis j gomez doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> yeah i was walking cool. around nick uh, with nick in chicago we were just kept doing red bar Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> did um yeah did, did lewis kick out Derek and geo too no it wasn't lewis um from what i can tell it was uh i mean ralph was the one who sent the email so you know oh ralph is hemorrhaging money 
<laughs> I don't I don't know, but it's I don't know. I don't want to like talk too much shit because it was nice of them to let me use the studio. Yeah, time. of course it's nice. Yeah, it's no, they they helped the you know, Lewis is like I think Lewis like really wants to help people, but it, yeah, yeah, he does. Also, he also makes like maybe bad business decisions that he has to roll back on. <laughs> well, my thing is like, I, I just don't think that like anyone's gonna pay what they're like. I just don't think anyone except for like a super rich person can afford like the rental rates now. So, yeah, um... yeah, and I, f- I feel like a podcast studio for the most part is just posturing. Like if mm-hmm. you're if you're funny and talented and have like a personality, you could you could just record your voice into an iPhone. Yeah. And upload that. I mean, Bill Burr has been doing that for like a decade. Yeah. Just like opening his laptop and, and being like, fuck, how do you fucking work this goddamn thing? <laughs> I never liked that podcast very much though. You know? It's just you like, like you don't like hearing a So uh it's like yeah, the <laughs> shitty audience. This guy trying to figure oh out boy, the uh Ah, the Celtics again. Brutal. Ah. <laughs> I really, I love Bill Burr. I love podcasts. I never liked that show. Yeah. It's just him being like, ah, oh, fuck. The wife. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's like little, so much like. You know, as a, as a fellow solo broad podcaster now, it's it's like the, the solo podcast is, is truly an exercise in schizophrenia. Yeah, I <laughs> this mean, is you're psychotic. Better. You're better at honestly, like you're better at it. Like, you, I think Bill Burr's podcast is best consumed in like YouTube clips. Like, oh, the 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 good ten minute rant of the last three months is on YouTube. Yeah, right. or or ad reads where he right can't hide his contempt for the company. That he's oh my reading. god! Yeah, he's like, okay, kratom. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to sell out. I have zero artistic integrity left. Like I just I'm want... begging someone to help me sell out. Or dude, like, I want those teal bucks. I want those teal bucks, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, I'm gonna join Dime Square and just be a part of like Red Scare and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, next like, out. As goofy as Dasha and Anna are, you can't you can't knock them for you could I mean I'd you love can, to knock them. I'd love to knock them. Yeah. I'd love to to knock them around a little bit. And, you uh, know, their their bit. breasts. They're very small breasts. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, they're small titties. Yeah, yeah. You, let's you just, like the rest of the podcast? We should be horny for Anna and Dasha. Yeah, let's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're you're listening uh, to um, <laughs> what would it be called? Uh, uh, bread scare. Bread scare. Corn fed scare. Corn fed scare. Corn fed scare. There you go. The show about being horny for Dasha and Anna. For Dasha and Anna. That's every episode. <laughs> every episode. We're just, we're just like, who's hotter, Dasha or Anna? Yeah, well, we we could corner the market on like the the like the Chris hard work talking about a show podcast, but it's just for oh, Red yeah. Scare after Red Scare. <laughs> yeah, you're listening to Talking Scare, <laughs> the number the number one Red Scare commentary podcast. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking scare today. Yeah, we're talking scare. Uh, I've never listened to the, the only. I think the only episode. I don't think I've ever listened. To I listened to an episode years ago when they had Mullen on, and that was. I think that was like the. It was torture. I was like, "Who is listening to these ladies? Like, who? How can you handle these voices?" I think other Brooklyn girls listen to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I've um... and then like really even lonelier than us dudes. You know, mm-hmm. just like guys who want like a girlfriend simulator. Yeah, but they, I mean, but the, like kudos to them for getting the teal bucks. Like, oh yeah, getting the bag because like him. I'll Jimmy, I'll Jimmy Dore out. Yeah, I'll take all that money and just I'll be take, like, oh, did he get teal bucks? He got some sort of shadow money from somebody. I okay, from Tool. From Tool, my, yeah. my shadow. <laughs> yeah, he, um, uh, yeah, he is a. What is it? Schism? I don't know many cool songs. It was 46 and 2. 46 and 2. My shadow shedding skin. I've been hey, I, I got, hey, I, got, I, got a, I got a tool for Dasha. Let me tell you that right now. Oh, yeah, I got a little tool for Dasha. Yeah, uh, I was talking about this. What about a guy named Al Jazeera? Yeah. <laughs> Al, like, Albert. Oh, I'm Al Jazeera. <laughs> <laughs> from the river to the sea oh those jews they're sneaky 
Yeah, okay, I like that. They turned off my water and power. Poor. Yeah. That's, that's Al Jazeera. That's Al, Al Jazeera. <laughs> um, what about um Robert D R- Robert D F instead of the I D F? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> there you go, no, Robert D F. Not, no, no. <laughs> hey, Robert the I D F. Did you kill that kid? A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Robert the D F. Robert the I D F. Better not uh, cross that border. Better not cross that wall. Don't go through here. Yeah. The De Niro impression is all in the face. It's uh it's a complete facial expression. It is, yeah. We that that made me laugh on, on my show now. I was like, I I don't know if you saw that when I asked my co host to do De Niro and you just did the I, face. I, think I saw that. Oh yeah. Immediately I was like, You nailed it. You all gotta do just do the face. <laughs> has he has he done a movie with DiCaprio? You guys would be kidding me. There we go. <laughs> Has he done a movie with DiCaprio before this no, one? I think it's his first one. I'm excited. Wow. Worlds collide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get go to the. I'm trying to get uh, grillers of the flower moon. You know what I mean? I'm trying to grill. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> You taking the grill pill? Ah, uh, dude, I'm, I'm grill pilled as fuck. I'm right yeah. grilled. Yeah, that was um, that was like one of the Chapo guys' things was the grill. Something about the grill pill, like getting into grilling. Oh yeah, I don't know. those guys. I really like all those guys when they're talking about anything but politics. Yeah, like, like I like Will Benneker's like movie shit. Yeah, they're it, the, those are also like interesting guys in the uh, the world of. I, I guess they like were, po- podcast this grifting. Is like a right place, right time thing. Like, can you imagine coming out with like an audio only Zoom show and it makes like two hundred thousand dollars a month? Like that just doesn't that just wouldn't happen. Like, there's no not even any video um i mean who knows like who knows what works no nobody knows what cat like what hits like everybody's mm-hmm. just like throwing shit at the wall to try and figure out how to not have to work a real job <laughs> is essentially what's going on um that's like all tiktok is like tiktok is like, like TikTok is interesting because the, the like there's no rhyme or reason for how that algorithm works or like what takes off. So this TikTok is truly just like this fucking mad grab for trying to get like a bunch of followers, and it's it's like it turns out what people want to see is somebody rolling different glass bottles down a marble staircase. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's the that's the new Seinfeld is like those kinds of videos. That's yeah. what, that's where people go for comedy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, why not? Like, <clears throat> it's like everything has gotten, it, like, entertainment is just now distilled to it's like um, roots. It's the most base form mm-hmm. where it's like here we're gonna roll some bottles down some stairs. Uh. You know, we're gonna. Have you seen the one where the guy takes has those two toilets like swinging around and no, they crash into each other? That's very entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Lord of the Rings, the two toilets. Lord of the Rings, the two toilets. Yeah, um, that'd be like a good th- joker in like two thousand three. Yeah, that would that'd definitely <laughs> be like a like I don't know like a comic strip like a a web comic that I would enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a Tosh point oh sketch or. If that no, that show didn't exist yet. Um, you made a good point the other day, though that uh, so much, so many people now are are still just doing Tosh point oh. Yeah, that's isn't that fun? Like I was watching <laughs> Tosh point oh, I'm like, this is just everything now. It's just yeah. like Twitch streamers are just doing Tosh. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just doing like, Tosh. What Hassan is basically like, what if Tosh was the most important man in journalism? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, everybody's just reacting to things, and it's like, yeah, and, and then there's like reactions to reactions to reactions. It's, 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 I, would lo- I, I would love to know what Slavyov has to say about all this. That's yeah. My go- <laughs> yeah. That's my go-to for uh, con- con- contextualizing culture is a uh, a coca slovenian retard yeah yeah he like he is the he is disgusting looking he's really gross he's 
<laughs> and he has like every single speech impediment. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and he and he's like he's either like coked up or has all like some weird autism because he keeps he's always like <laughs> he's like fucking with his nose the whole time. <laughs> it's like it's basically like uh it's like if someone like put a glue gun in Rich Voss the way he talks, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if Rich Voss had a mouthful of peanut butter. Yeah. Slavia. <laughs> uh yeah. Really is yeah, Did really see, uh, Norton, Norton got married. Do what? No, Jim Norton got married. Really? And I'm not sure if they if his wife is trans or not. I yes, I saw this picture. Yeah, she looks trans. Good for him. I mean, good for him. I mean, he's he's been into that for a while. Um, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Jim I Norton. Think he'd ever get married? He seemed like he was just like, uh, that just wouldn't get married, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Some people, some people start late. Um, some people, some people are married. They get divorced. They get married again later in life. You know. Well, yeah. life is a long and winding road it's a it's a meandering river yeah i know i'm like i'm getting a little like uh worried that like i won't like find a wife you know can't even think about it brother you just have to keep podcasting <laughs> yeah podcast through it. just keep podcasting don't even worry about stand up most people don't even like it anymore yeah you for know? real they want to see like TikTok, honestly. Yeah, you know? I talk to people. I've talked to a lot of people who tell me like, you know, I don't even like. They they say like I don't even like stand up. My favorite, it's like my favorite comedians are podcasts. Yeah, Hassan, yeah, Hassan's yeah. like my favorite comedian. Yeah. Um, and then and most stand up sucks anyway. It's like, it's, it was it was never it was never really an art form. No, like, honestly, it was it was more like a parlor trick. Did I tell you I saw Paul? The only show I saw front to back at Skank Fest was Polly Shore's one man show. Oh, he's doing a one man show now. He's yeah. He's <laughs> like, and then my my sister told me you're like a weasel, and that's how the weasel was born, baby. <laughs> and and then he plays like Creedence Clearwater Revival. <laughs> so, nice. Like the whole there's there's like music throughout the whole thing. Yeah, good for him. Good, good for Polly, <laughs> America, America's favorite nepo baby, Polly. Well, it's Shore. funny because he tells stories about his parents, and it's like I'd rather see a show about them, because he's like, his mom like invented the comedy store and like found like Robin Williams. And they did do a show about them. It was that um. Oh yeah, that show. Showtime. With, uh, what was it called? I'm I'm dying up here. Yeah, I'm dying up here. Which yeah. the, that book is great, and the show was just like not like the book at all. Yeah, I can think of nothing worse than like movies and TV shows about stand up comedy. Yeah, it really sucks. But the Lenny Bruce movie's pretty good. Otherwise, Funny People's Fun. That's about it. Yeah. Um, I get. I I didn't really like Funny People. Uh, I liked it. Was it like two and a half hour? Two and a half hours of schmaltzy bullshit. Um, I rewatched uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall the other night. And I was like, God damn, I miss like I missed that. I miss like a good R rated like romantic movie. Just yeah, happen anymore. does it hold up? Yeah, I thought it was really funny. How's Russell Brand? It's a little. It? He's very good in it. Um, <laughs> well, it's like the only thing he was good in. He like coasts on that for like a decade. Yeah, well, that and get him to the Greek. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, you know what's a great comedy movie is The King of Comedy. That movie fucking rules. I've never seen it. Oh, you should <clears throat> definitely watch it. Yeah, I'm. It's Scorsese, I'm, it's Scorsese baby. Scorsese. 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 Uh, I'm wondering. Have I? I don't know if I've seen like most of his movies. Have I seen? I've seen Taxi Driver. I've seen After Hours. I've seen the The Departed. No, oh, part is my. It's so good. Goodfellas, Wolf of Wall Street. Um. Irishman. That might be it. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen Casino. Oh, Casino's great. Yeah, I've never actually watched Casino. Scorsese really doesn't miss. No, all of his movies are pretty good. I Marty Kundun, I liked it. <laughs> Marty Kundun, I liked it. By the way, what a, what an interesting title for a movie because it, it that is a slur. Kundun. 
Coon, yeah, Coon Dune. Is that like about a black? Or no, or it's it's reversed. Space? So the actual slur is Dune Coon, which is so I'm wrong. Actually, I'm glad you. I'm glad you corrected that, Dalton. I'm the, folks. It doesn't matter. I don't have a career. I'll never have a career anyway. And. Uh, mainstream entertainment. I don't exist anymore, so I can say all the slurs I want. Well, you can I'm, become a Twitch streamer, dude. I could become song. a Twitch streamer. Um, yeah, I mean that's where the money is. That's where like, you know, Kai Sanat and uh, who's that one lady? Yeah, have you been following that uh Sniper Wolf story? No, what's that? Dude, it's 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 weird how um you don't know who these people are, and then you find out they're probably like the most famous people on the planet right now. She's a um like a YouTuber who had some beef with another YouTuber, and she doxed him, like blasted his like uh, a picture of his house and his address to like millions of people. Um. Okay. <clears throat> like on her stream or something and i like i didn't know who either of these people were as i'm like seeing the stories about this come out and so the that guy the guy that got doxxed he has like a few million followers you know so he's he's making he has a good career i guess but then that lady sniper wolf the one who doxed him her youtube channel has 34 million subscribers oh my god yeah and, and so, like the controversy Whoa. right now, the controversy right now is YouTube's not hitting her with any sort of um, like re- like consequences or repercussions or anything like that. Like mm. they've done nothing about this, probably because she, like she's making money for you, like a lot of money. Like right, I would I would imagine that if you have that many subscribers, you're kind of untouchable at right. that point. Right, unless you get in like a big that's that's crazy though yeah i don't know how i don't know how that happens i don't know how that works and yet like, they demonetize an innocent man like russell brand mm-hmm. that's fucked up <laughs> gotta go to rumble here's the thing about israel palestine they're not telling you <laughs> also i didn't rape anybody <laughs> yeah I, lo- I love that he's still going for it he's still uploading stuff like i'm, I'm here to tell you the truth governor he's thinking about you crying yeah, but he, I mean, his channel has, like, what, like, 8 million? Like, something crazy like that. So, 6 million, I think. Yeah, it's, it's like, it is a good grift, because, like, all the, all the, like, comedians who are just, like, trying to make it on YouTube to have some sort of YouTube presence, they're not even close to a million, most of them. And it's, it's the people who, like, figured out an angle, you know, that are getting, like, millions of YouTube subscribers, and then you, you're just printing fucking money at that point. You know? Yeah. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. Well, he's one of my favorite comedians and thinkers. and He's one of the most prominent thought leaders of Why the modern... The does anyone care what he has to say about politics? I'm like, yeah, it's so strange. Yeah. Bo- Bookie Wook is my uh, catcher in the right. <laughs> I read that because I, I feel like in high school I liked Russell Brand or something. And at the time, I was like, "This is terrible. This is a badly written." Yeah, everybody liked him. He like came over to America, and everybody was like, "Who is this dashing <laughs> dandy fr- from Britain?" He is a fucking dandy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> who's He's who's a fucking whimsical dandy? Who? Yeah. Who is this raw the... sexual pixie that's hopped across the <laughs> pond <laughs> over here to the United States? And we who is this waifish oaf? Yeah, we, and we were all enamored with him for a few years, and then and then I th- I think everybody just got tired of it. <laughs> yeah, was... he's like, hey, look what I can do, and then everyone's like, Russell, this is four years. We're going on four years of this. Yeah, <laughs> enough. No, no, I'm about to say my peeny weeny. My peeny weeny's a little tiny peeny weeny. Yeah, okay, Russell, we we really tried. <laughs> we really tried with you. Yeah, he, he's yeah, like, he's... okay. I guess I'll pivot to talking about the Labour Party. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the thing about big tech they're lying to you that's yeah. like all of his youtube titles like they're lying to you well it was it was kind of like um it was a slow it was a gradual yeah. build up into that because i remember when he built burr uh, it was a gradual build burr to 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 <laughs> what he is now because i remember when he uh 
kind of fell out of favor with um hollywood or whatever and yeah was starting to like position himself as a spiritual guru Mm -hmm. and and so he was doing that for a while he was he was like a spiritual wellness kind of guy and then and then that eventually like metastasized into a, a, a like a truth telling thought leader wait is metastasized the name of like one of those reaction video guys yes <laughs> welcome back to metastasize reacts today we're reacting to f- fucking joni mitchell mm-hmm. i use that again anyway sorry yeah i followed that russell brand i remember i was like i was like actually like last year i was like why is he do- what the when did this happen why is- i was like a little fascinated but then it all clicked into place rarely do you get like a satisfying like you know reason yeah that's the oh shit hold on how long have we been going almost an hour i'm i'm, oh. I'm really sick uh, or i feel sick so hold on i gotta can, uh, i don't we can wrap i got up. a phone call real quick hold on hello <laughs> yes This is good podcasting. Do 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 do